Sarah and John are true partners in everything that they do. Um, they bring different thoughts and priorities and skills um, to their work, but they genuinely care about the community and its future. They're everywhere in our community. They are supportive of almost every major asset that this city has to offer. So whether it's the symphony or whether it's supporting children in our community getting a quality education, they are there as active supporters of these assets of our community, which really has an in impact on our ability to grow as a community. I think of the phrase servant leader, right? I mean, where um, they take um, the power that they have from the, the job they're in, um, and they leverage that power for the good of the community. Uh, John lends his name uh, to a lot of initiatives and people don't really understand how powerful and important that is. But, but maybe more valuable for me is John lends his time and his energy. Uh, and that's what drives a difference when John's involved. When I was thinking about this award and what a deserving recipient uh, that John and Sarah are. I was thinking about all my interactions with John where I either asked him to do something when I was mayor or saw him be asked by somebody else uh, while I was working here at Lilly or saw him become aware of a problem by hearing about it from somebody else or learning about it in the newspaper. In every one of those occasions, I could just see the wheels turning. It's always like, is there something that I can do or that Lily can do to help? If it's a problem, if it's a need, if it's an opportunity in the city of Indianapolis, his mind goes right to what could I do, what could Sarah do, what could our company do to help Indianapolis? It's, it's sort of a, almost an immediate instinctive reaction. They're so remarkable such a great pair, a great team. Uh, they share their incredible passion and love for Indianapolis. They've been a terrific team leading Eli Lilly and company. And to have leaders at the top of the company like John and Sarah, uh, so inspiring for other young people to want to come here and yet they've had this tremendous understanding that a good piece of the success of Lily's ability to attract talent is to attract them to a city that is exciting and dynamic and prosperous and fun and broad-based and welcoming and inclusive. And together they've been extraordinary in causing all of this to happen. When I think about what John and Sarah have done for this community, I really think of, of t two different things, really. I think, of course, uh, John's role in, in leading, leading Eli Lilly, but of course, uh, personally, they are both so committed to so many different organizations. Sarah has served on the ISO board for many years, and I know uh, John also contributes to so many organizations around town, and they've really made an impact on this community in so many ways. Uh, they've been particularly supportive of the ISO's Metropolitan Youth Orchestra program. This is a program that serves over 220 children and families, many from the urban core of Indianapolis. Uh, it's a youth and family development program, and this past year we celebrated the 20th anniversary of MYO. Uh, Sarah served on our leadership committee to support that anniversary initiative. They hosted an event in their home. They helped raise significant funds. In fact, made a challenge grant and together they helped lead uh, a fundraising effort that raised over $140,000 to support this incredible program. And we're so grateful to them for doing that. When we launched the early childhood work and John made the decision to put the full, um, the, to put the full resources of Lilly behind the early childhood effort. Um, he stood up in front of a crowd of business leaders and said, it is time for us to stop talking and to start acting to solve this problem. And he provided incredible leadership. That was the point at which he basically said that Lily would raise $10 million in corporate um, money to support that effort and that Lily would lead with $2 million.
So that was an incredible moment of leadership. Um, with Sarah, her leadership in taking a group of women over to the State House when we were looking for increased funding for 211 was amazing. So she and these 40 women were over at the State House talking to legislators about making that happen, and they made it happen. And, and, and by the way, they're, they're just regular people. They're fun to be with, they're nice to everyone. There is no big shot-itis in the Lecklider family. And they've given the city a wonderful family, by the way. Their kids are terrific, and uh, their kids sort of carry on this legacy of, of being good citizens and, and, and doing more than their share. They are so committed to everything that they do. They've been so committed to the ISO and to me personally, whether it's from supporting events, coming to concerts, answering questions about leadership or challenges we have in the organization. They are so committed to what they do and, and, and that infuses our institution with, with that kind of love of community and love of place that is, is really just unique and, and we're so grateful to have them in our community. You know, they are very accomplished people um, and there are a lot of places and a lot of opportunities for them nationally and internationally to be um, expending their energy um, and I feel very fortunate that they have chosen to keep the bulk of their efforts local um, and that they're really willing to roll up their sleeves and work with us. It's not unusual to see Sarah walking into the building at 8 o'clock in the morning to have a meeting with staff. Um, I know they love the symphony and the Pacers and the Colts and the art museum and um, it's one thing after another that made their life rich and they've been very generous. They're a, they're part of the fa they are a part of the fabric of this community. And that, that's extraordinary. And I don't think that will change. And, and through the history of Indianapolis since I've been here, there's always been two or three leaders who step up when somebody retires or they lessen their involvement. I think you can give John and Sarah credit for the other senior leaders that they develop up under them who will continue to carry that flag and will continue to contribute to you know, making Indianapolis and really the state you know, a, a better place for us to live in. For somebody who didn't know John and Sarah and, and I had a chance to tell them only one thing, I would say they are two people who don't just love their community. They do love their community, but they don't just love it. Uh, they invest personally in it. They give of themselves entirely to it and uh, they have made this city a much better place and that is something to be really proud of. It's quite a legacy.